Holy sheets. It's time for more BTS. <laughs> I'm stupid. Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Bill and this is Trying to Stand, where I try new things in pop culture because I've been living under a rock. I just wanted to do an extra video for you guys. Uh, thank you to everyone who's been so patient. I've been going through a lot of personal stuff since the last BTS video. I needed to recoup from all of that. I'm doing my best to try to keep up. I had no idea that there'd be new music in January. I'm an idiot. I'm here to learn. I'm sorry. Thank you everyone for your patience. I'm going to be listening to um, Map of the Soul, Seven, Interlude, Shadow, Comeback Trailer, Black Swan, and then Ego, which is the outro. I don't understand what a comeback trailer is. Don't call it a comeback trailer. It's been here for weeks. I know Black Swan is the single. I think Black Swan is the single. And then Ego just happened, and I think that's a song. I don't know. I'm new. I also wanted to take an opportunity at the beginning of this video to ask you guys for some help. I really wanted to do some uh, of the Love Yourself era of BTS. Then I found out there's like three albums and like a million tracks and songs, and I, I don't have the time for whole albums right now. Help me figure out that timeline, please. <laughs> Some people on Twitter have been really helpful and I appreciate you guys. I just, I'm just lost and confused. I'm just a boy. I, ju I just have translations in front of me. I just, I'm just here to have fun and there's so much business involved. <laughs> Without further ado, I'm gonna straighten my nose. No more waiting, no more delays. Let's jump in with uh, the Shadow Comeback trailer. Ah, uh, yes. The sound that makes me need to pee. Ooh. Wow! No! What? Okay. That This looked really fun until that happened. I want it on mine. Ooh, that's smolder though, but this is so upsetting. I wanna be me, I wanna pick the more boy, let me see. Oh! Oh, damn. Ah! Oh. Ooh! Wait, but I- why do I feel so good but so many scary things are happening? Holy shit, I'm gonna work out to this. Okay, yeah, a lot of conflict, pain, fear, holy sh**. Sir, are you alright? Oh no. Sir, are you okay? Like, holy crap. That got overwhelming fast. Definitely that's the point. Like, it makes sense at the end with the, the paparazzis and then suddenly, like, even, like, the camera phones are, like, covering up his face. But it, it feels like it's, it's trying to fight back those thoughts. I, okay. This is Black Swan. I don't have the... Son of a bitch. Shadow interlude. Boom. Okay, with the paparazzis overwhelming at the end and the people like running at him in the hall, freezing behind him but still grabbing him, it's about like the, the negatives of focusing on the wrong things because it's like, it starts with like, I want to be a rap star, I want to be a rock star, I want to be rich, I want to be the best, but then it's like, I want to be me. It's like, hidden in there. Like these are all like perfectly acceptable things to want, but I want to be me. Like it's the one like genuine and selfless thought in that whole list. And that's always when things sort of freeze or it, it focuses in on him. It's like being worried of like the negatives or wanting to like push away the negatives or the fear of focusing on the wrong thing. And then it'll start to like engulf you, like the mirrors cracking, like his mind splitting. Like maybe it's a, a fear of those things like kind of taking over or running your life. Just from the visuals, it's like suddenly he's up on this like huge cube monolith stage performing and everything feels so like, like suddenly it starts to churn, like the, the beat starts to kick in and like you really start to feel this pulse and this vibrancy and this energy. Ooh, like that was the part where I'm like, man, like I could lift weights to this and it felt so energetic and uplifting, but then it all starts to get darker again and then he's getting engulfed in the, in the photographs. Shadow at my feet, look down, it's gotten even bigger. I run, but the shadow follows as dark as the light's intense. I'm afraid flying high is terrifying. Yeah, it's that fear of, making it big, but you're still like 
fighting and fighting and fighting. Now here you are, there's like new things to, to worry about, focus on new negatives and fears or overwhelming thing. It reminds me in Kingdom Hearts <laughs> where the closer you get to the light, the bigger your shadow becomes. Like there's going to be more negatives as you, as you traverse and climb that obstacle and go for your goals. And because of just how like, like charged that moment is where he's just up on that stage, like, I think it's about like breaking through that. That's why the mirror cracked. It's like that fear that's like buzzing around inside you, but then also your your motivators churning in there too. Cause yeah, don't let me down. Don't let me fly. Now I'm afraid. The expectation, the fear, the reality, but then still moving forward. You'll be at ease if you admit, if you admit it to succeed or fail, whichever you flow. You can't escape wherever you go. I am you, you are me. Yeah, it's, I think it's about embracing your fears and moving forward, learning to fight with it. Accepting your anxieties, your hangups, your nerves, understanding that that makes you human and wanting to push through and still succeed, not letting it bog you down or bear you down. I really liked that, like that, that really gets you like churning and fighting and like what a strong, like earlier with things like uh, dope or, um, uh, no more hope, no more dream. In some of the earlier songs, there's a lot of talking about like fighting against a system or society or perception from others. And this one, it sounds like it's fighting back against the negativity that's generated from within like a self-examination. And it's like, well, you can't ignore the fact that that's there. That could just make it worse. You need to accept it, mold with it, rock with it and push forward persevere despite that. It's pushing back against the negativity in yourself. That's so cool. The topics are moving from like back off to like, I need to chill out, I need to focus. Like it's that next step after it. Like you, you've you conquered the world, now you need to conquer yourself. Map of the soul, I get it. That's dope, I really liked that. Holy crap. Yes. Pun intended. Sure. All right. And next we have, uh, this is the Black Swan video. It's the art film performed by MN Dance Company. I don't think that stands for Minnesota, but that, that's what I keep reading. <laughs> oh yeah, that, uh, that new single of theirs, uh, that Black Swan. We're gonna be doing a, uh, we're doing a dance, uh, that new BTS dare. I'm gonna have to pee. A dancer dies twice, once when they stop dancing, and this first death is the more painful, Martha Graham. Damn. All right, so this is gonna be a happy tune. Why is only one of them not wearing a shirt? I mean, it's fine, I was just wondering. Oh God, what the hell? Yeah, hug him, he just slapped his own body. That's gorgeous. Ew. Yeah, flip them away. Don't do what they're doing. Right? Like, it's gotta be about, like, individuality and believing in yourself. Because he broke out of the box, then everyone, like, abandoned him, and then he had to, like, move his way downstairs. And now they're all joining. Ooh. Yes, lifting each other up. <sighs> Oof. No, oh God. I mean, yes, but like, ouch, no. Not like, no as in I'm upset about it. That was beautiful, God damn. The beat and like that, the repetitive, like, like almost like it's to yourself, like believing in yourself, pumping yourself up, but then conformity wasn't working for uh, no shirt. He's like trapped in that box and they're all trying to like 
manipulate him into doing a certain thing. He breaks out of the box, they abandon him. He has to walk down an escalator, which I think you're going down a broken escalator. It's like still moving forward despite a lack of momentum, like having to exert your own energy and like fight and continue through. And then when they're down on that second floor, like one dude tried to stop him, he just flipped him over essentially, like no, like deflecting him. But then eventually they all started to join in with him and embrace that he's different. And even like when they all kind of like united together at the end, his arms are still distorted and embracing our differences, learning something new from each other and then holding each other up so we can succeed. <sighs> Refusing to stop in the face of adversity. All right, now we got the lyrics. Let's see what the, the song's about, which I really didn't expect something like so like string heavy and orchestra kind of feeling to it. It, it was really different, which I really like. I love when I don't know what to expect, like keeping me on your toes, like sampling different flavors, cause like them boys can mix their voice with anything. I don't know if they've done another one that's like so floral like that, but just mm, like their voices compare with anything. Uh, the heart no longer races when hearing the music play, trying to pull up, seems like time has stopped. Oh, that would be my first death I've been always afraid of. Damn. Yeah, I think it's about being worried that you're not going to relate to your craft anymore or feeling stale or feeling like uninspired, like worrying about a limitation to your passion or to your creativity. But yeah, that would be my first death is if my heart didn't race when the music started to play. Like if I didn't love what I did, if I lost my passion for music, which yeah, if you stop dancing, that's your first death. So yeah, that would be my first death. Well, that's not good. You have a whole nother album coming out, sirs. Wow, so, okay, so it sounds like, like searching for identity. It pairs with the shadow interlude where it's a lot of self-examining, a lot of negativity, but perseverance being the key there, trying to keep your passions moving you forward instead of doubt and fear holding you back. Cause then pairing it with the visuals of the choreography of the uh, the, the dance piece, it's like feeling like you're, you've hit a rut or a wall or you're being stifled creatively and like breaking through. And it's like, what's true to me? What's real to me? and like really soul searching to find that. Like it's about like self-discovery, the conflicts that we put in our own way or the things that we focus and dwell on that then weigh us down. I open my eyes, I'm in my workroom, it's my studio, a safe space. The waves go darkly by in a throw, but I'll never get dragged away again. Inside, I saw myself. Yeah, right here, okay, so stop trying to tell me what to do, let me move on on my own, let me figure this out for myself, and then diving deeper, analyzing yourself, checking in with yourself, like trying to understand yourself more, you find the answers, you understand yourself more, I'll never get dragged away again, I saw myself. Like sometimes there's answers that only you can find. Like you need to be able to have the, the willpower and the strength and the, the self-awareness to be able to look at yourself. And it's not so much like rejecting help, but like, no, like there's something I need to do on my own. You're your own worst enemy. You're the person that's in the way. Not like, not just believing in yourself, but like investing in yourself. That check-in, like clearing your headspace, that self-awareness, but also understanding. And it's not, oh, I'm alone now. It's no, I need to go do this alone, but still feeling that connection to the things that help you in wanting to get back to that place where you loving yourself and caring for yourself can then let that in again. I think it's about reconnecting with yourself so you can reconnect with others when you feel that distant and that drowning feeling. I loved that. Boys, please be okay. Yeah, I think this is gonna be an album about a lot of like self-awareness and reflection and like, like I said, internal struggle as opposed to external struggle. I'm digging it so far, like I'm feeling it. Ooh, ooh, I don't know, I don't know if I, I, if I can do another album of sad boys. I just want everyone to be happy and believe in yourself, be idols. And we have the outro ego comeback trailer. So the outro is called Ego and this is the, is this the whole, would this be the whole song then? Is this a snippet? I, please someone let me know how this works. Is this the whole song? Ego. And which makes sense with the whole analyzing yourself thing. Whew, all right. Oh, cause it's the trailer. So it's got like MTV vibes. That's dope as hell. Hey. 
there we go. Like, feeling good. Oh. Wait, no, get up. Is he dying? Is he in hell? Oh, please let that picture be really him. That was adorable. Sorry, I'm interrupting you. But Okay, past lives. Yes. Oh, he said it. He said it. Ooh, hello. And then someone riffed it beautifully. Hello? Thank you. All of them be like that, please. But I guess that also helps the emotion really pop if it's been a little dour for a minute. Damn it, that felt so good. Like the confidence right there, like that that self-confidence that just helps propel you forward. Like literally he said uh, something about like trusting himself or believing in himself and then just kick the car into the next gear and off it shot. Like it was, that was lovely. Ego, BTS. Damn it, none of these are English. Not that it's th an important language, it just, it is to me because it's the only one I know. I suck. God, would've just been easier to just learn another language. Okay, yeah, so now the beginning of that makes sense with the we're now gonna process more steps, which are a bit more difficult. And it's like, yeah, the difficult part of like trusting in yourself, starting to move forward with that confidence, it's hard. I also love it because like ego has such a negative connotation to it, just the word, where it's like, oh, ego, like egotistical, full of yourself. But no, like it's a positive spit on it. it. You need a little bit of ego. You need to appreciate, admire, and believe in yourself so you can push forward. And I think that's kind of what this is sort of hitting on is it's like that kind of laid back because it wasn't, yeah, I defeated my enemies. I conquered all my goals. I'm the king of the world. I'm better than you. I'm better than everyone. It's no, like I'm, I'm happy now. Let's use this happiness to keep this momentum back on track, moving forward. You know, trying to like remove the stigma out of a phrase like ego and turning it into a positive and like believing in yourself, which is sort of also what the song does, where it's like looking back on all the times that you doubt yourself, question yourself, using that as tools to start working towards believing in yourself again. I think it's about the balance of not only embracing all the spectrums of your emotions, but also the balance of owning up to the negative, understanding and analyzing the negative, but then learning from the negative and then pulling out that positive from the center of it to utilize to go forward. Yeah. Oppression's all resolved. Into my heart come answers from my most trusted, only one hope, only one soul, only one smile, only one you. Yeah, like map of the soul, map of the all, like it's by understanding yourself, you can understand others. Like it's moving forward and like now weirdly kind of meta by spreading that message and that feeling, other people will start to feel it too. The lessons you learn and the experiences you had understanding and struggling with yourself, like making sure that that helps other people moving forward as well. Like understanding other people too, like it gives you peace of mind, like you understand it more so you can help them or facilitate in a way to where it doesn't get you down. And it's so relaxing, like it feels like an accomplishment. That felt like an emotional victory lap. Like now we can go around all those emotions. We can talk about positives and negatives. We can talk about the past. We can talk about the future. We can take that lap around because now we understand. That's what it was. That was an emotional victory lap. I really liked that. That really sets a very positive and kind, interesting, dark, deep tone. We're in a phase where I think we need to encourage more self-reflection and analysis and understanding, but then also celebrating that and encouraging yourself now to move forward with this. And ideally it will inspire others or you will help others directly or indirectly. Something I really need to hear right now. I don't know. It just feels good. <coughs> Zoom type. Yeah. But yeah, there you guys go. What did you think of my thoughts? What do you think of the songs? Are there more you want me to listen to? Let me know in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like the video if you did, subscribe if you want more. I appreciate everyone's patience. I'm hopefully gonna have another BTS video out sooner rather than later, especially with new stuff dropping, especially because it's dropping the week before my birthday and the week of the birthday of trying to stand which I, I think is awesome. But thank you guys so much for watching and thank you for your patience. I appreciate each and every one of you. Take care of yourselves, please.